Well, the Sri Lankan President Ronald Vikramasinghe visited India this week. Four crucial agreements were in fact signed, and one of them was to make sure the Sri Lankan port of Trincomalee a regional hub for industry and energy. New Delhi has said that an idea of a land bridge connecting the two nations, which are at one point just kilometers apart, was proposed by Sri Lanka. In a strategic document, the neighbors have said that establishing a land connectivity across the Park Strait, which in places is just about 25 kilometers wide, will give India access to the key ports of Trincomalee and Colombo. It will also help strengthen the millennia-old friendship between the two nations. The following talks with the Sri Lankan leader, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that feasibility studies on a land bridge and a petroleum pipeline will be carried out. In the past, a proposal was mooted to construct a bridge linking India's Tamil Nadu with, a man, with, with the Manar based on the ancient Ram Setu or the Adams Bridge route. Well, the land connectivity project remains far-fledged for now. There is focus to resume passenger ferry services between Nagapattinam in India and Kanke Santurai in Sri Lanka. The work towards the early resumption of ferry services between Rameshwaram and Talaimannar and other mutually agreed places is still in progress. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.